Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2 and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now we are going to go ahead and get into Life Without Limits by Dr. Ferris Hill. Currently right now we're on chapter number six, which is making the investment. Now this is take two of this chapter here on Poem Praise 2. Do you have 10 minutes? May I have just 10 minutes of your time? Well, okay. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into take two of chapter six. And it reads as such. Recently, I was in Atlanta as a keynote speaker for a nutrition conference. The theme was setting a table for success. Listed below are some of the points I shared. One, place a greater value on who you are and strive for excellence in everything you do. Two, keep a positive attitude because 90% of everything in life results from your attitude. Your attitude determines your altitude. Your attitude is like a magnet. Whatever you do to or for others will eventually come back to you. Do not ever think what you are doing is insignificant because your work is valuable. Number three. Believe in the greatness within you because you can achieve what you envision inside of you. Success is a mindset for number four. Every success mm -hmm. you obtain has been accomplished by hard work. Do not settle for average or mediocre. Number five, the four legs of the table of success are love, respect, integrity, and excellence. You are either setting your table for success or failure based upon the investment you make regarding improving yourself. I share in school assemblies with students that obtaining a good education is a necessity to fulfill your dreams. I challenge them to graduate from high school, go to college on a full scholarship, earn a six-figure income, excuse me, afford their dream house or dream car. Obtaining a good education is the foundation of their future because it determines what their field of study and area of expertise will be. You cannot go beyond what you do not know. Your greatest limitation is a lack of knowledge. What you do not know can hinder your future. People are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Education is your passport into the future. Tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Your will to win should be exceeded by your willingness to prepare. Education is freedom. What is freedom? Hmm? Freedom is being in control of your future. It is nothing more or less than living a life without 
limits. Each of us is on a path in life. The path you are on is either leading you to college, trade school, or into becoming a prisoner. The path you have pursued in life is leading you into a life of celebration or degradation. It is all based upon your choices and the investments that you are willing to make to improve yourself. You cannot reap what you have not sown. What are you doing to assure yourself of a bright future? Hmm? Are you only engaging in wishful thinking? If you want to fly, learn from the airplane. Below are five things an airplane must do to fly. Number one, it has to fuel up. The plane cannot fly without fuel. Number two, it has to leave the gate. You cannot fly hanging onto the gate. Number three, it has to get in position on the runway. Position is so important. Number four, it has to check with the tower. It has to get clearance before taking off. And number five, it has to rev up its engine and take off. Success does not just happen. You have to plan and position yourself for it. Successful people will do the things they and others hate. To do, to get the things they love. They push and persevere longer and harder to achieve their goals and destiny. Much of life is about sacrifice. You have to give up something to get something you love. Muhammad Ali said, I hated every minute of training. But I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Michael Jordan said, while everyone else was sleeping, I was practicing. Success comes with a heavy price that not everyone is willing to pay. Some would prefer to sit on the sidelines and simply let life pass them by. I call them the Otis Redding Group. The Otis Redding Club, excuse me. I said group, y'all. That's not in the book. Remember his song? Sitting on the dock of the bay. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Just thought I'd put that little tune in there for y'all. That was his one and only hit song and then he died most people are not willing to take the next steps to make improvements within themselves and their lives what they fail to see is that the price of ignorance outweighs the cost of knowledge you must look at the benefits of making quality investments regarding improving yourself. Then you will see how it will pay off. You must also take a look at the consequences of where your life will end up if you don't. Now, that does completely take two here on poem praise two. So stay tuned to take number three of chapter number six.
life without limits here on Poem Praise 2 of making the investment. So until then, I certainly want for you to be well, to be blessed, to be safe, and it be it thy will. I'll talk with you soon here on Poem Praise 2. So until next time, later y'all.